there is something we need It's a leap of faith Oh, if you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there About to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand Upper Quikrenin village lies on a narrow grassy plain where the high Karnadu come down to the sea. Aber also lies at the foot of a delightful valley now part of the Qued Aber National Nature Reserve set up in 1975 by the Nature Conservancy Council now the Countryside Council for Wheels as an example of a broad-leaved woodland habitat the Romans built a road from Canovium, their fort near Conway, to Gordonog, near Aber itself, while on the wooded hillside, above the village rooftops, there's an Iron Age ford, Maziger. At the back of some village houses is a mound, part of an 11th century Moton Bailey castle. It is likely that this was also the site of the palace where Llewellyn the Great, Prince of Wales, held court in the 13th century. Llewellyn cemented his relationship with the English crown by marrying Joan, the daughter of his old enemy, King John. But marriage ended in disaster when she had an affair with William de Breos the Younger, Lord of Breichnoch. Llewellyn had his wife imprisoned and de Breos hanged. Just to the north of the village, Gwerni Grokva, which means Bog of the Gallows, is a dark reminder. As you walk up the valley, you'll have dark, commercial spruce woods to your left, but the more swampy ground to the right, you'll see alders. In spring, the scene will be coloured with buttercup-like flowers of the marsh marigold, or king cup. It is well worth a break to visit the Nantes Visitor Centre, which illustrates how the valley has developed. It tells of a past when the woods were coppiced and harvested for their hardwoods, which were used for railway sleepers and clog making. Above Nant, the woodlands become sparser, though there are patches of oak wood and mountain ash. Aber Falls are undeniably impressive. The river plummets hundreds of feet down cliffs of quartz streak Cambrian granophyre. The longest single drop is 115 foot. Scrub birch trees eck out in existence on the rock ledges, as do liverworts, rare mosses, primroses and anemones. Most visitors backtrack from here, but we continue to the loop to the head of the valley, past a smaller set of falls, before climbing to reach a high shoulder with the views of the coastline, with the sands of Triathlathen stretching nearly all the way to Anglesey. Clyde, a 
as a cliche. We're on the run. This is what we Along the walk, you may see a sparrowhawk in the skies above the conifers, or even a magnificent peregrine falcon. But if you're really lucky, you may chance upon a merlin, a chattering low-lying falcon. The merlin is an increasingly rare sight in Britain due to the destruction of its moorland habitat, given over to the excessive sheep grazing and extensive forestry.